I started writing the poems to say thank you to some of the people who had helped me. So I wrote a thank you poem to the radiologists and that went down very well. In fact, the lady who I read it to and then gave it to started to cry and was very moved by it. And that made me think, actually it's a good way to say thank you, it's different. So I wrote a poem to my oncologist and to the surgeon and to the breast team. And because they were successful, then I wrote about how I felt as well and it became a book. My husband and I started to sell the book and we made quite a lot of money from that to put towards the appeal. And also I did a few talks and people gave donations because of the talks. So that's how we came involved really. Having to go to pool for radiotherapy is a long old journey for us. It took us well over an hour to get there and that's quite a commitment because I had to go for 15 visits. So it was long and arduous, but the actual radiotherapy was totally fine there. If I could have had the radiotherapy treatment in Dorchester, it would have been a really, really big difference to us and to me in particular. I would have known the people. It would have been half the length of journey and we could have um, fitted it in in a much shorter frame of time. I have my radiotherapy in the winter, so it was a long journey and sometimes not very easy driving as well. The other thing is that some people felt it was too far to drive and too far to travel, so they didn't make that journey and for them that's a very sad decision to have to make, I think. The refurbishment to the chemotherapy unit is very, very important. When I had the treatment, you couldn't choose whether you were with people, whether you were by yourself, whether there were men, women, it was very crowded. So I couldn't take anybody in with me. For some people that was really daunting because it's a big old thing having chemotherapy. That was hard for people to just go in there by themselves and to deal with something that can be quite distressing really. It will make such a difference to have people that care and love for you being with you and to choose if you don't mind with being, being with other people or to choose if you would rather be by yourself. I think that will make a vast difference and I think it will help people physically and emotionally just having that choice. I'd like to thank people very much for supporting me and helping me to raise this money towards the appeal. We're nearly at the end now so please, I would encourage anybody who can to support this. It's such a worthwhile appeal and it's such a really good cause. We're almost there, but there's just a tiny bit of a way to go. So if you can, please help us. It will change the lives of so many people.